Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Unity of Command and today we're gonna play the mission which is called the Human Pocket or the Human Pocket whatsoever it is. So the Human Pocket uh, in this mission we got a uh, new objective so we got three objectives. We're gonna take Balta, we're gonna take Human and we're gonna take uh, Hobo Max. Okay so Hobo Max. So we have troops uh, defending. So we have troops defending. Wait 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 not, not yet. So we have Soviet troops defending all across the line. So we can see our supply line. So we have range 6 and range 8. So our supply line stretch from this area, which is here, uh, through here, sorry, through here. So we need to capture this supply line and also this supply line right here. So uh, let's have a look at all each other. So you can see I move my troops to try to take out the enemy. And again, I'm trying to make sure that my division stay intact and then I'm gonna make sure again that my troop will stay on this line right here so that I can get another supply and defense my troops. You can see I try to make use of my elite division and you can see my elite division deal quite good damage like kill 3 or 4, 5, 6, yeah, something like that and I move my panzer again and then I take that out. Uh, remember the enemy supply line is right here so if you capture this city they're gonna end off supply line. However, they still have some supply line right here at the south, which is range 8. Okay, I move my elite division again, and boom, three slips. Good, and move again. Okay, try to make sure that my division stay intact, and try to make sure that my troops will also uh, the, take down the enemy when they are low. Also, one more. Try to make sure that my troops will uh, cut all the supply lines. So that's how Blitzkrieg works. Okay, you can see they do pretty good damage. Uh, another one, I believe, is out. Yeah, and then move my cavalry. Okay, and then upgrade it with a tower division. You guys will have a prestige, so you can use your own prestige, which they're gonna give it after you finish uh, each mission. Depends on your goal. If you finish in a decisive victory, you will earn at least 200 prestige. But if you finish the mission uh, at the limits, you will only get nothing. But Thank you. Okay. Okay, you can see my division started to attack. Some division did pretty bad, like this one, which lost like all almost everything. Okay. Uh, okay, let's just, just turn to my turn now. Okay. You can see they try to defend again. So let's re let's play it. Okay. So uh try my goal was try to take or cut the supply line that's the most important thing because enemy when they lose their supply line that's the most terrifying things ever happen to them because after a turn they will lose their supply they still can move they still can move but they will lose their supply such as guns ammunition food oil so you can see I'm trying my best to cut them right here but however my supply line right here is also lost but that's okay because soon I'm gonna take everything down so the supply line will work for me, which is straight from here. So the supply line right here is range 6. So after I take that Vanita, not Vanita, it's uh, Vanitsa, sorry, Vanitsa. So after I take the Vanitsa, my supply line will be ready for me to begin. Okay, and then take out this one, very nice. And again, this one too, because the veteran they did a pretty good damage against the enemy because they are the elite. Okay, very nice. Okay. Good. Okay. So that's how I do it. Uh, you can see, I try to make sure that my troops stay on the line all the time, no matter what. You can see, yeah. No matter what. Try to stay on the line so that you can take out the enemy easily. Uh, one more thing is to trade is to take uh, sorry is to stay in the supply range try to get ammunition try to get uh, anything from your allies okay 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 that's good nice okay good I don't know but, but but this one is quite slow uh, for the past few games uh, move is a bit faster 
unlike this this one is pretty slow i guess okay next turn uh quick to our turn don't watch the so it's just so returns okay you can see we have some advantages you can see the enemies are already out of supply for two turns okay so that's how it's happened so i move again cut their supply because their supply run from here and here and here and here and here you can read and look sorry not read you can look by the stretch marks you can see that okay take out the enemy it's gone almost gone still one more two yep destroyed and move right there and take out the enemy right here and again I do it again okay so right now they cut our supply okay so again try to cut everything off you can see soon they will they will they will move their troops here because they don't want their supply to be cut so right now they will defend their supply range that's what they're gonna do okay so right now I'm playing almost at Moscow uh, we'll be turning on the uh, Stalingrad campaign pretty soon uh, rally I don't really do this game much actually I've been playing all day but I don't really do it much because there's a lot of content because you guys prefer World Conquer 4 more than Unity of Command. Unity of Command is kind of supplementary, uh, but I found this game to be quite useful in the training and also very cool as well. Which, no, the graphic looks okay, but the more important thing is the strategy. The strategy is something that hooks us up. And I believe I have read some news uh, quite a few days ago. Seems like we, we're gonna have a unity of command too. Uh, I don't know when it's gonna out, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, the developers has been doing a pretty good job. Okay, so now time to turn in and move to our turns. Not really one what to sew with at all. Okay, good. So you can see my Panzer right here is having the uh, stretch mark, uh, sorry, the, the auto supply again. You know why? Because I haven't yet take out this one. So after I take out that one, the supply will be mine right now. Okay, you can see the supply right here. So right now I'm having uh, range 6 of supply. So my tank, my panzer will be okay. Everything's gonna be great. Yes, so I'm moving my troops. So our goal is to take the 3 objectives. You guys might have asked. I have only like 7 turns left. 3, 3 turns left, sorry. So which means that I have to protect everything. As you can see, the enemy right here is blocking my line of taking their supplies. So they know... They know that if they open that one, they're gonna lose everything right there. That's why they're defending it. Okay. Move my Wehrmacht to the point and take out the cavalry commander. Okay. And again. So at this point, I'm trying to make sure that I cut everything off, the territory, everything from the Soviet. Try to make sure that they lost control of their land. Try to make sure that they afraid. That's fear. Okay. Okay. You can see again, uh, my objectives is near. Okay. And my Panzer is moving forward. And again, I try to make sure that I cut everything off. Okay, so returns end and move into my turn again. I'm quick and low with the Soviets. Okay. Okay, so right now they are defending at their position, their main target. So my Panzer is very fast and use my what is that? German mountain. Okay, mountaineers. Okay, bricks. This is a Panzer, German Panzer, uh, German motorized, German infantry, Wehrmacht, uh, German Jaeger. Yeah, the Jaeger, the Jaeger version. The Jaeger, the, the Jaeger. They are like the elite infantry. They uh, they deal qu quite good damage. They are most likely they are sniper as far as I'm concerned. They deal long long range damage. Uh, more importantly, the damage is really lethal. I mean, enemies can get killed like two or three seconds after that. Okay, so move my troops again, 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 and try to 
in precision and make sure that I don't really want to cut a supply. Okay, and I cut over that one and I arrive at the area and take out that one out. Yeah, that's easy. Again, and build a bridge. You know why I build a bridge? Because I want to make sure that I can reach the area before it can be lost. Because I don't I don't rely much on the river because the river is pretty pretty muddy. Okay. So skip Soviet's turn. Okay, so right now we have only troop, two troops here, right here, but we got like a lot of troops waiting at our disposal right there. Okay, and move again, take it out, and I move my panzer into position. You can see the panzer using the bridge. Okay, again, move my troops here, and use my uh, motorized, try to cut off the enemy. That's great, and panzer, the final one. Okay, so the panda finish the job and move my panzer again. In position, take out the enemy cavalry. Okay, try to make sure that I have the range, I have the capacity of defending and doing okay the job. That's nice. Okay. So the only the enemy only have one more left. And replay. So then we took back the objectives, that's the problem. <coughs> Gonna skip that anyway. Okay, so then we have captured that. So right now, that means that I'm out of supply. You can see the stretch marks. Again, okay, however, take that one out. Very nice. And capture my objective. And this other one here. Take out that one. And boom. Yeah, easy. That's one. So again, uh, we start off at uh, the banks of Vanit Vanitsa. He has some troops uh, aligned from the supply range road here, right here, and here. So the only way that I can do it first, I try to make sure that I cut the supply of the enemy right there. And then I came off to the south and just try to hold and restrain the enemy uh, before we reach uh, Vanitsa. That's how I do it. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this Uman Pocket video of Unity of Command, the Black Turn Operation Barbarossa 1941. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a nice day. Uh, enjoy your day and see you guys next time.